Hi, it's me, Papa John the Tool Man. Today we're going to do a BNC. We're going to do it on RG6. And if you've seen my video on the F connector, you'll know that the Seal Smart connectors, the whole series, are color coded. Black represents RG6. Uh, real popular uh, BNC application, of course, is on CCTV. You'd want the RG59, so you'd want the red one. But today we're doing RG6. So let's make sure that my cable's cut nice and square. I'm using my big red stripper here for stripping the cable. Make sure it's cleared out of what been stripped before. And just go around a couple of times. And then we're going to comb that braid back. Finish it with the Velcro. Big red comes with a Velcro comb. Real handy, it keeps braid out of the fingers. And then I'm going to rotate that foil down real good so it doesn't get trapped in the inner ferrule. So it goes on easy. And in this case, now I'm shooting blind. I know that I need to crimp that, uh, cut that center conductor 3 16 which is about right there. I always like to cut it on a little angle because that way it catches the flare of the pin and goes up easily. Uh, insertion into the uh, pin itself. Now something real important with BNC, you're shooting blind. With an F connector you can see where you're at. With the BNC or an RCA you can't. And on the BNC the call out for the center conductor is 3 sixteenths of an inch. And you can use the connector itself as a measuring gauge for two things. One is for the center conductor which is the width of this band ferrule right here. So when you put the dielectric at the base of it and look at the where the end of it is, I'm up there right there close to the edge, I know that I'm long enough. If I was past the other side, I'd have to trim it a little bit because I'd be a little too long and then I'm going to prevent the connector from going on where it needs to be on the cable. The other important factor is when you push this connector on, you want to make sure you're down where you belong on the cable because if you're not, you compress the connector, you do your pull test, it comes off and you got to throw it away and start over. And that's an expensive mistake. So what you want to do is set it back there, you look at your center conductor, we're good, and then notice the end of the connector and I'm going to put my thumb right there. That's where I need to be on this cable. So let's put it on and get down there. So we feel it go on. Once it's on, now you can put some force on it, but don't force it on until you feel that dielectric go up inside that inner ferrule. So now push and rotate, and there you go. It's ready to be crimped. This one's going to have to be adjusted. I'm going to unlock my nut. I know I'm going to have to go down quite a bit, probably. You can see it's a little longer. And let's see where I'm at. So I need to keep turning it until I'm about equal spacing of what I'm going to crimp and what I see between the end of the connector and the base of the tool. There. So that's about right right there. And then I'm going to crimp it. We're done. And it's done. Seal Smart 2 connectors, BNC, RG6. Thanks.